Hello everybody and welcome back to the fifth episode of the Young Man's Adventures here on Balling Craig Estate. We're picking up right where we left off. Trevor has just left for work and the young man is now left to try and get the fight going, to get grass in and to get everything sorted for his contaminated cattle. Hopefully they're recovering. Blissfully unaware of the ongoings with the challenge from the lawyer, the young man has finally got this rather ancient grass cutter going. It took a huge amount of tight maneuvering through gates to get it up, and it's not the most fantastic cut, he can tell that. The grass isn't as tall and as fat as he would have liked it to be, but nevertheless, he is getting a swath laid and he will be able to feed his cattle later on today after a lot of hard work. As the young man is cutting the last couple of strips, it's as if the routine of the work of cutting the field and seeing grass being ready has eased his mind a little. He is of course totally unaware that Trevor in the meantime is battling to try and make sure that the legal company gets off his back about having forgotten to dial in last night and verify that he was actually on the farm. Right now, the young man is feeling that he's actually starting to regain a little bit of control. There's still the thoughts about what to do for the rest of the year now that they've had to cut a whole field early. And uh, almost on cue, his doubts manifests itself into the rain that starts pouring down loading the header back onto the trailer and pulling the pins the young man can't help but think typical even the weather is against me although he tries to knock it out of his head knowing that that's probably not really the case it's just nature and the way that it is but he now faces a fairly long wet walk back to the farm 
And now he's got to try and pick up wet grass as well. Back on the farm the young man has a quick check on the cattle and it looks like the most critical period is over. Medication is working and uh, we shall spare you the details of uh, how the cows are actually getting rid of the contaminated feed. It isn't the prettiest sight in the universe but it seems to be working. The trailer suddenly seems quite large navigating around inside this tight yard and he knows that he's going to have to get even more maneuverable around here as he hooks the trailer back off so he can get the grass blower connected up as well. The young man's already pretty soaking wet by the time he arrives up the field. It's time to start getting the pipe turned and see if he can get some of this grass in before it becomes absolutely soaking wet. Although the machinery is old, it seems to be doing the job. Just as the young man comes down to the bottom of the field, he decides to stop and switch the collector off as he's uncertain whether he can get more into the trailer without starting to drop it off. This again is not really one of the jobs that he used to help his uncle with and well, it's awkward to see into the trailer so he decides this should be enough for now and he should get the uh, tree on. 
hooked. Oh no, things start rolling. It's not how it's supposed to go, he says. Manages to maneuver the tractor out. The push bar hasn't been damaged too badly, although the bracket holding the hose under top got a little bent. As if things started rolling, he realizes. You're supposed to leave the collector on and then pick up the trailer. He feels like a fool. The young man is learning. As he at least now has secured something to feed his cattle with in the coming weeks. Until the grass really has grown. He's wet. His hands are freezing cold from fighting with the PTO shaft and old rigid hose connectors. He's bringing a load of grass in for his cattle, perhaps to begin stacking a bit in the silage pit. Maneuvering the large trailer around the very tight yard is a lot harder than anything the young man has done before and as the cold seeps into his bones the rain keeps pouring down. He is literally on the verge of angry tears as he can't find a way to turn this trailer around to get the feed to his cattle. The only thing he can think of is to start dropping some into the silage area, lowering the walls, and then scoop some of the grass back up again and and perhaps get it into the cows. He's not quite sure what he's doing here. He desperately wishes that Trevor was here, but he's got to try and get the struts off and get this wall uncovered. With the wall to the silage pits down, he once again feels he actually has at least a chance. The young man battles on with cold fingers and soaking wet clothes. And there's nothing for it. This harvest needs to get in. This grass needs to get in. The young man is shivering in the tractor. The rain just keeps pouring down and he's getting so very, very cold. He's starting to feel a little faint, almost dizzy, but he's he's got to keep going. is running down the young man's face. He's feeling lightheaded, cold beyond belief. He's on the verge of, well, giving up. He feels so heavy and so cold. He almost doesn't know how he can keep going through this. But 
somehow he manages to fill the trail up again and this time he's not going to make the same mistake as he almost stumbles out of the tractor and drags himself over to unhook the hoses and the pin for the trailer he's shivering uncontrollably as he pulls the collector forward and once again climbs out to try and work this really stiff PTO it's been sitting for a while although it moves easier now than it did before it takes what feels like almost superhuman effort to get it off again before he can climb back up into a wet cold and exposed seat The young man feels his vision blurring slightly as he drives down the hill. It's almost feeling like he's losing slightly control of the tractor. It is so cold. He is so dog tired right now. He's just... I just... I just gotta... I gotta keep going. He moans to himself. Trevor is returning home, fairly light-spirited. He managed to get hold of the vet who contacted the legal company and indeed quite happily verified that the young man had been on the farm the day before. In some ways the vet wasn't too keen to get involved in whatever was going on with legal disputes and such, but he didn't mind at least saying that he'd been there. So. Trevor feels pretty good and he's excited to see how the young man has been getting on. Um, although the rain has set in and he kind of hopes that the young man has taken a bit of a break to see if the worst of it clears, but as he comes out of the car he can hear an engine running and he comes over and he sees the young man standing really pale faced trying to somehow wiggle one of the hoses on the back of the tractor. What's wrong, lad? What's wrong? I just... I don't feel so well, says the young man. Trevor grabs the young man by the shoulder as he almost tumbles over into the trail. My god, lad, you're freezing. You're soaking wet. Come into the house right away. Trevor drags and half carries the young man who is really really cold he drags him in towards that don't worry lad don't worry lad let's just get you dry and warm now you've you've done really well for today and trevor gets the young man into the house and gets him dried down and turns the heat on and puts the kettle on for some hot tea and lays the young man down in his bed. You you need to rest, you're not well, you're running a fever. I'll I'll be fine, mumbles the young man. I just I need a a rest. And as the young man fades and sleeps a fever ridden sleep. We see the end of episode 4 for Balling Craig Estate. Hard times are come upon the farm. What will Trevor and the young man do? He sounds like he's on the verge of giving up, perhaps. Follow us in episode 5 to see what happens next. Thank you very much for watching. If you do like, please do hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, it helps to know that people are watching and finding the series interesting perhaps but for now it's thank you very much from overcord gaming and see you again soon